Today's project is going to put together my new amateur radio antenna up to OptiBeam OB9-5 This is a 9 element 5 band Yagi made in Germany supposed to be one of the highest quality antennas there are so um, this is another project I um, just bought this antenna yesterday and uh, it was used but in it's an excellent shape and uh, thanks to a very good friend who actually paid for this antenna because to be honest I couldn't afford it right now so I'm really grateful for it and he helps me a lot with this so the person I bought it from took it all apart and he marked pretty much everything so I with this and the manual I downloaded um, hopefully I can get it back together you uh, know by today because I'm really looking forward to see what this thing can do alrighty I better get started pretty much straightforward I can see all these old imprints where <clears throat> this apparently have been mounted on the main uh, boom so I just put it back in place the way I can clearly see it So I got the antenna uh, partially assembled, well at least uh, the boom and the, um, the radials. Uh, 
I wanted to film all the process, but I kind of stopped doing it because it, it just took too much time away. The cameras got in my way and all that stuff, and it's basically all not that um, interesting. Well, the one experience I found out for myself is that this uh, antenna, as I mentioned, already has a rather piss poor instruction manual. I mean, they are, have like two pages where they're writing stuff, but there isn't really any clear pictures. I mean, there's drawings, and but the details they don't show. So what I had a hard time with is where everything precisely goes. And lucky for me, the um, person who sold me the antenna, before he disassembled it, he took a bunch of pictures, very, very good pictures actually, and he sent them to me. And uh, so that helped me figure it out. So. Here's the first step, what I was confused about. So those bars here, those are, those are the active feeding bars. And they're starting from, this is the front of the antenna, first radial. This loop, I really don't know what it does, but it does something. Okay, this connects right there. And then uh, it goes all the way over here. Now here, here it gets interesting. There's a couple of, um, Why did I do this? Okay, there's a couple of metal bands here. So apparently the feed crosses over from one side of the feed bar to the other and underneath there is... Let's see if I can pull this in. Uh, a little bit hard to see I guess. But anyways, here underneath is the same one going also from this one to that one. So there's somewhat of a crossover. Why? I don't know. I'm not an especially soft antennas, that's why I don't build them, I buy them. So, and then it goes the same, and you got this loop that um, basically, I guess, closes the, the circuit, whatever you want to call it. So, as far as the elements, so, and then of course, here's the center mount. And then it goes all the way back. Those are the, of course, passive radials, and the back to the big one is the reflector. So anyway, so um, the mount, the center mount where it mounts on the pole, is basically on the the last part of this uh, feeder bars. So I'm gonna walk towards the front, just in case somebody's having problem as I did. Maybe that helps you all. Okay, again, so this is, I mean, the, the previous owner marked all those things that were partially washed off. It did help, of course, a lot, you know. So, of course, the first element is passive. The second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth elements, apparently those are the active elements that get actually fed. And, um, So let me walk again over this to make sure everybody can see it clear. Okay, so okay, let's start the front first, second, that's where those bars starting, third, and the fourth, and that's where um, the second set of those crossbars connecting. Again, they're going across. One here, one there. And then it continues on. So this is the, the fifth. In between the fifth and the sixth um, radial, there's the the mast. Mast mount. And then after that the active feed ends. Those of course are insulators. So they're separate here. In the middle, of course, there's insulators. Those, those uh, radials are not connected. They have insulators in the middle. Okay, so then the last three, again, they're passive, and the um, main reflector. Well, this was our, this is an upgrade. Original, this was just mounted with those clamps on the boom right here and there. Um, so what happened to the person who owned it before, there was some heavy wind, I don't know if it was a hurricane or something, because he was also from Florida. But anyways, one of the um, 
um, uh, clamps broke and the, the radial came loose, the reflector. And so he took it down and apparently the company who built those things, they started realizing that it was too weak. I guess the wind load is strongest because this is one of the biggest elements, probably the largest. So they basically, he bought an updated aluminum plate, which is much thicker, has bigger clamps. And uh, I just simply drilled holes to it and used the original one and just bolted it on. I hope this works that way, it should. I don't see the difference. So the next step is gonna be, well the antenna right now is laying upside down. Um, it has to go the other way around, so I'm going to see if I can flip it around and then I start putting the, the coax on and whatever else I have and then go from there. I really hope, this, hope that can help somebody. Like I said, I had a little bit of problem putting this thing together because I, uh, maybe I'm just dumb, but I, I think that the manual is extremely confusing. They got six seven pictures of how the antennas mounted high up in the air which it doesn't tell you anything okay so i'm gonna put the camera down and flip that antenna around so i got the antenna turned around the way it's going to be mounted and i put the cables on i'm just gonna um, go over a few details details here too so on the eighth element there's going to be a steel cable attached it's gonna go all the way up to the um, third element and it's gonna support the, the weight of the, the boom by um, fixing that cable to the mast somewhere like here. It's gonna be a mast and it's gonna be higher and it's gonna support the cable, uh, the, the boom I mean. Okay so this is how I purchased the antenna. They didn't use a balloon or balloon, whatever you call this. Um, instead, they coiled the coax around and put those chokes in there, if that's what they are. But I'm gonna put it exactly the same way back on, the way it came off, because the person I purchased this antenna from, he knew what he was doing. So, and then, um, okay, this is how this is basically put on between, well, centered around the fourth element. Just put on the boom. I don't know about, I put it with wire, wire zip ties on there. I'm gonna have to figure something else because those things are not very good in sunlight. They're gonna maybe last a year and then they're just gonna break if they even last that long, but can't use any metal straps because that's definitely going to interfere with whatever the resonance or something so and the feed points are just below the the third element let me see if i can crawl under there let's see if we can bring this out right there i'm so damn shaky okay so Pretty much the most of the antenna is assembled. I'm just gonna, of course, those are all the extension that goes on the radials. I'm not gonna bother putting them on, on right now till I get it actually hung on the mast. Not sure yet how I'm gonna do this because the uh, antenna weighs about 65 pounds. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy to winch this thing up. I may have to rent a bucket truck or something to bring it up. I'm not sure yet. My biggest thing is I'm afraid of heights, so... And anyways, I'll figure something. Okay, so yeah, this is how the antenna is going to look from the top. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I hope that helps. Since I had a little bit of problem figuring it all out. Uh, Maybe somebody else is going to have problems too. And as good as the reputation of this antenna apparently is, and the quality seems to be excellent, uh, again, the, the manual uh, is p 
piss poor at best. All right, well, I'm gonna stop it here and see what else I can do for today. Yeah.